Third and 11. Let's see if we can get a stop here. We need to get a stop. Interception. There we go, baby. Let's return it to the house. Let's return it to the house. Come on. Oh. Welcome back, guys, to the second season of Bowling Green Falcons as the defensive coordinator. Uh, we're going to be playing against UL Monroe, and this is what our team schedule is looking like this year. UL Monroe, James Madison, Indiana, Toledo, and Kennesaw. Um, and then the conference is Toledo, Central, Buffalo, Ohio, NIL, Kent State, Eastern, Akron. So uh, not too bad of a schedule. Uh, we're predicted to be third in the MAC at the end of the season. And uh, our recruiting is going pretty good. So far, we have a bunch of four-star recruits here that uh, we went ahead and spent a bunch of uh, points on, and we're currently first. And all of them except uh, for a couple that – Decided to decom, not decommit, but uh, lock us out. So we got uh, these four stars here on our board that uh, are looking pretty good, and uh, we'll see you what the season looks like if we'll be able to hang on to them or not. All right, so just like the first season, we're going to be doing the exact same thing and just playing all defense the entire game. Defensive looks looks like we have a Sip Junior who's a star already. So we're looking good. Kicks it high and it's just hanging there as if it has helium in it and floating down toward the earth. Losses and come back to have great seasons. I mean, think of 1983 Miami, one of the great teams of all time. Blown out in the opener, won the national championship. Well, some of us weren't alive. Everybody. Well, we took a loss <coughs> there versus uh, UL Monroe. And uh, that's uh, not a good sign here to start off the season. So. Here we are versus James Madison, and uh, let's go see. <laughs> I mean, they're 0-2, so let's see if we can get W versus James Madison. So we lost against James Madison, 21-28. Um, we only allowed 275 yards, but we had more than that with 326 yards, but we still lost. So that's uh, <laughs> unfortunate. Uh, we did have 14, or we did have four turnovers, and James Madison only had one. We were able to intercept the ball four times, and that just wasn't enough I, to get the Bowling Green Falcons rolling at this point. Um, the we're zero two, and uh, our championship contender just keep go keeps going down. It's the it's not good. Uh, the school grades are also going down, which is making prospects like uh, David Schubart here. Um is a deal breaker so we're having deal breakers because of the way we're playing and we're 0-2 and we're going to be at indiana and we're going <laughs> to i to be honest with you i have no idea what we're going to do against indiana but i'd probably say we're going to be 0-3 after indiana so it's not a good start to the season yet and would you look at that our championship contender went hit went up to a c and we are one and two that means we won versus Indy and a 22 to 20. <laughs> oh, let's take a look here. Uh, interceptions two, and that's about all we have on the defensive side. So, you know what? We'll take a win versus a Big Ten team any day. And this is what the recruiting board is looking like so far. We have Ohio State coming in, trying to swoop up a uh, Lamar Blue from us. Um, we got Dennis Van Demark number one over Michigan and Wisconsin, but they're moving up in the rankings, so that's something we're going to have to uh, watch here. Um, we don't really have get any many recruiting hours, so scheduling a visit is going to be pretty hard. Um, and then Craig Pellone, Pellin, he's a right tackle there, and we're number one on his board. We have a right end, uh, and we're trying to get this, recruit this guy from Liberty or Rutgers, so we got a couple of good things here going on. Uh, Vince Kissman, still number one on his board. And then Ken, Ken and Kane, we're still number one on his board. And then we're doing okay here in the three stars. Uh, we are getting some of these championship contender deal breakers. Uh, we have like a C minus right now, and he needs a B minus. So we have to uh, start getting some wins, man, because uh, if not, it's going to be a long season. We're going to be <laughs> going to be doing some heavy recruiting. Um uh, 
but this is what the recruiting board is looking like. We have quite a bit of players, uh, but uh, trying to wrap, rope them in is uh, going to be pretty tough. It's going to be pretty tough with that C minus championship grade. Welcome everyone to Doit L. Perry Stadium, home of the Bowling Green Falcons, where the fans have been prepping and fired up since early in the day for this one. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see a team looking for its first win, the Toledo Rockets. Squaring off with another team from the map, the Bowling Green Falcons. For EA Sports College Football recently. They win this one. No doubt, they got to show up. Th these are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football. And a good job of coverage by that. There is a long and storied history of great games between these two rivals, and this chapter adds another to that legacy. Really Im impressed by the poise by the winning team as well here. They weren't overhyped in this game. They came out, they looked prepared, they were calm, definitely confident, Dave, but they were able to go out and execute well enough. All right, guys, so this week we have a uh, non-conference game versus Kennesaw State down in Georgia. Uh, this is the overalls, man. Uh, we're looking good overall. Got 81 on the defense side. They got a 77 on the offense side. Um, so let's get and jump into the game. It's going to be a good one. To Kennesaw, Georgia, in the greater Atlanta area and home to the Owls of Kennesaw State, where these fans have been eagerly anticipating this one all week. We've got a terrific matchup for you today, rich in pageantry and tradition, and it ought to be a fantastic clash. As we'll see a squad from the back, the Bowling Green Falcons. Taking on the winners of three straight, the Kennesaw State Owls. 48 Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. All right, here we are, second quarter, first and ten. Got to get a stop here before the end of the quarter. That's a good look. <laughs> he had a front flip. <laughs> and the ball comes out, man. Uh, <laughs> That's a good little play there. Uh, here we are, second and 10 on the 25. Looking to try and get a stop here. Ooh. Timeout, Kennesaw State. We're gonna do a, go ahead and put a QB spy up. See if we get a stop here. Ooh, that was a big hit and he drops the ball. So we got second and 10. We're Got a good, good pressure on the QB, and I think we were just running like a co cover two zone, man. Uh, so able to get to the quarterback, uh, doing with just four guys there, and uh, we're gonna be third, third and nineteen. They took a huge sack there, so we're gonna see if we can't good. <laughs> oh, ho! nice little stop there in the back hole. tackle for the a loss in the backfield. Fourth and twenty-three, they're gonna be kicking it off to us. See if we can. Maybe see if we can't try to get a really good return here. Oh, I'll have to block that guy. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. That yeah, was all right. We just set up our offense in a good spot. So we got Kennesaw State here on the 47. Gain a two on the play. Nice little run there from Kennesaw State. Um, I'm not sure what they're going to be trying to do here. We got man-to-man -man right now. But we're ready if they want to run it. And that's what they do. We keep them to no gain. And we were able to sack Kennesaw State there on the fourth or on the third down. Bringing up fourth and 13. We're going to see if we can try and get another return here. And they're going to be kicking it outside near the nine. All right. So we are losing 21 14. And uh, it's not. A good way. <laughs> I mean, Kennesaw State, man, they were not um, doing very well, but uh, somehow they came back, and uh, we're just trying to get a stop here, man, so we get the ball back to our offense. Here we are on a, a very important third and three. We need to. Oh my gosh, and they got it. I can't. <laughs> 
And that's going to be the game, folks. 21-14, Kennesaw State takes the, takes the win uh, at home. Uh, our offense is horrible. So, I mean, yeah, we took a loss to Kennesaw State there. Uh, I mean, really can't blame the offense. 14 points versus Kennesaw State, though. I feel like it could be better. Um, see if uh, we can schedule this guy for a visit and uh, – See if playing time for our four-star right glove will be enough. Uh, this is what the recruiting board's looking like for us so far. Uh, it's looking okay. We are we're winning some battles. We're losing some battles. Uh, there's just, it's just kind of tough being a. I think what are we a two-star team? Yeah, we're a two-star team trying to recruit four star. <laughs> trying to recruit four stars. So. Uh, it's a little hard, and uh, when our championship contender keeps going down, you know, it's going to be hard to uh, try to recruit these guys. Like, I don't even know if we're still in the running. Yeah, we're still in the running for him. Uh, but if we can get some wins, man, uh, that would be great. The We just have a lot of people that just really aren't interested in playing for Bowling Green, which is just, you know, kind of it's makes it makes it tough, makes it tough. Uh, we've offered these guys some scholarships, uh, but uh, they're not biting. So we're going to put inv probably have had to invest some time into them. And uh, we do have some points here for our, up for our coach. And I'm going to use these skill points uh, to try and get some DBs and linebackers. So that way we can uh, put some more points toward them. And... That's where we're at right now with the recruiting. We're doing all right, but uh, definitely could see some improvement on that side. And I believe we're going to be starting uh, getting to the conference games now with where we get like four or five consecutive. Oh, we have a four-star commit. Vince Kessman from Michigan. Oh, Wow. Would you look at that? And then we have all these ones <laughs> that don't want anything to do with us. <laughs> uh, championship contender went back up to a C minus, and it's no longer a D, so that's good to see. Let's go here into the recruiting again. It looks like we were not able to get this guy. Uh, this right tackle. Let's see who else locked us out. This right end. So it's definitely a struggle here at Bowling Green when it comes to recruiting. So we're going to focus our efforts on some other players. All right, guys, we're two and three, and here we are with another conference game. It's going to be conference games from here on out, I believe. So we got Central Michigan at home. Let's see if we can get the W. Third and eight here. First, first drive for Central Michigan. We got to see if we can get them to hold. See if we can. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We just got deep beat. Third and 11. Let's see if we can get a stop here. We need to get a stop. Interception. There we go, baby. Let's return it to the house. Let's return it to the house. Come on. Oh, so close. So close. Here we are with a fourth and one. Fourth and inches. Oh, I can't believe that I didn't get him. <laughs> All right, we just got to stop him here. We got a 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter. We got to get a stop. All right, here we are. Fourth and nine. Seven seconds left. We got to get a stop. There it is. He's delivered, and they get a close win. Yeah, Reese, big-time players make big plays in big games, and that's what happened in this circumstance. As a coaching staff, David, you love this. You know that you have confidence in your guys to go out and be able to execute when it matters the most. Correct, and you don't know until the games, right? You don't know when those moments present themselves. How are they going to handle it? Great job handling the close game, executing down the stretch like they needed to. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports Health.
Welcome everyone to Doit L. Perry Stadium, home of the Bowling Green Falcons, where the fans have been prepping and fired up since early in the day for this one. Today, do a good All right, job. we got 30 down and nine to go. Let's really see if we can nice job by the defense. stop him or pick him off. That's fine too. Let's go. Come on, number four. There we go. That's what we are talking about. Oh, we want to see on defense. Well, we got the ball back fairly quickly, so I'm thinking an interception happened. Let's see what we got here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There we go. All right, here we go. Third down and nine on the... Let's see what we can do here. Oh, my gosh. What was that? What was that? He just like stopped for like a quarter second, which is just enough separation to get that wide receiver right open. All right, here, here we go. Third and 18. We got to we got to hold them here. There we go. That's a good sack. See if we can get a block here. And it's good. All right, it's fourth and goal here on the nine. We got to get a stop here and make sure they don't get a touchdown. Okay. And we're good. We saved it. So this is a look here at the football schedule. I simmed a couple of games here. Uh, we lost versus Ohio by two. We beat Northern Illinois by 10. Uh, we couldn't pull it out in Kent State and lost by four. Then we beat Mich Eastern Michigan by nine. And our last home game of the season is going to be Akron. The conference standings as currently has us, I want to say in second right now. Um, and of course it's Akron. <laughs> so Akron's one, we're number two. This is basically, we're battling each other to see which one of us is going to be in the Mac champion conference championship. Uh, we definitely need to get a win here versus Akron. So that way we can, you know, get that win and get that on our resume as a, uh, conference championship contender. And if hopefully we could, uh, win that'd be great um if we did win uh we would be looking at playing i think who was let's see let's take a look here at who the third person was toledo i want to say we actually lost it to toledo earlier in the season right or we beat toledo there we go so hopefully we'll be able to beat them again but first let's look for this weekend let's see if we can get the w against akron Here we go, fourth and 22. We're not going to be able to break that tackle. Here we go, third and 22. We, we got to get a stop here, and we do. Now see if we can get a return here up the middle or something like that. Here we go. I'm going to have to block this guy. And there it is. And here we are, first and 10 on the 19. We got to get a stop here. Our uh, offense wasn't able to score, so we need to keep them from scoring. Try to make it any closer than it already is. And we were able to sack the QB there on third down, so now we get it. 
get the ball back, and we're going to block this guy. There it is. And we did get a good job. Of they won the game today. That's two in a row. If they win the next one, it's called a winning streak. It's been done before. All right, here we are in the MAC Conference Championship versus Toledo. And uh, they got us pretty beat on passing yards and points per game. Um, but we did beat them earlier in the season, so that is hope. And we do have them beat in all of the overall categories. Uh, just take a look here at the team schedule here. Um, you guys can see uh, Toledo, we did beat them 21-10 earlier in the season so everything is good on recruiting uh, beat Akron 24-0 so now we're here in the conference championship welcome to what should be a fantastic close to the MAC football season as we crown a champion in the MAC conference championship game and right here we've got a collision between two teams in the MAC as we'll see the Toledo Rockets Taking on the Bowling Green Falcons. 3A Sports College Football. I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. Bringing out the best in teams like this, and now they can call themselves champions of the MAC. It's a great accomplishment. But now we have to wait and see what the committee will do and if they'll invite this team for the college football playoff. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. So we got a nice little win there versus Toledo. And we are the MAC ch conference champions. Uh, granted, I can't take all the credit just for being a defensive coordinator, but this was a pretty much all-around win for everybody. Um, so... You know, it's, uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, I don't know what's next for our coaching career as we get a three-star tight end commit there. Uh, so it looks like we are going to be getting a, another bowl here at the Camilla Bowl in Montgomery, Alabama versus South Alabama. Um, I want to see if I go here into the coaching contracts. I'll be able to see if, yep, Camilla Bowl. <laughs> so we played this game, uh, played this bowl last year. Let's take a look here at the job offers and see if we got any job offers. We do have some job offers. Holy smokes. All right, so we this is we do have some different job offers here. Uh, defensive coordinator for Iowa, Michigan State, and we have a head coaching position at TCU. So I thought about it for a little bit. We are going to go ahead and sign this contract for the TCU head coach position. And finally, we will be able to start our head coaching career in the Pac-12. All right, so we're going to be taking over the head coaching position here at TCU. We are a four-star program with an 81 overall and 5-7 overall record. Um, we were 11th in the Big 12, so that's... Uh, we have a lot of improvement that we need to uh, kind of focus on. Um, I guess we have five persuasions, so we'll see if we can use these persuasions on these players, and they are not persuaded. So uh, we're going to jump in the next week. This is what our recruiting board is looking like, and uh, I'm not impressed. Um, a four-star school shouldn't be recruiting two stars but that's just my opinion but we're going to be focused on the recruiting and transfer portal next episode so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode make sure you guys drop a like on it drop a comment in the comment box and we'll see you guys next episode when we uh, take over the tcu head coaching position